I just can't imagine like putting Lennon through something like that. And I, you know, admittedly haven't been perfect in that arena and I'm embarrassed by that, but I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. Hey Lennies, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to a highly requested video, the now viral sensation, Save Ralph. Okay, so this video, you guys, has 12 million plus views and it's just been out, you know, a little under a month and it's been very impactful, not just in, you know, the animal advocacy world, but in the rabbit community because the star of this video is a rabbit named Ralph. So it's really nice to see some rabbit representation. Now this is a short film, all right? It's like three to four minutes long, so don't worry about the length. And you know, this film has a lot of A-listers in it. Taika Waititi, he's one of my favorite directors. Zac Efron, Olivia Munn. This is, this is a film that's it's a, it's a conversation that needs to be had. And I know there's a lot of countries that are banning animal testing now, which I really appreciate. I think, I hope that the United States eventually shifts to that. Before we get into this, please subscribe, smash the like button, and hit the bell for unlimited bunny content. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Alrighty, so um, my name's Ralph. Um, I'm a rabbit, as you can see. I'm blind in my right eye, and uh, this year, can't hear nothing but ringing now. Eee. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? So, you know, this clearly starts off like very dramatic, showing off Ralph's injuries. Yeah. So I had my fur shaved and got chemical burns up and down my back. It kind of stings, eh? But it's not a big deal. I mean, it only really hurts when I like breathe or move around or whatever. Ah, yeah. Ow. Yeah, that hurts. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it's okay. We do it for the humans, right? They're far superior to us animals. They've even been to space. Have you ever seen a rabbit in a rocket ship? Oh, I don't think so. So this is really interesting. As we know, rabbits are one of the most tested animals, not just in the cosmetic industry, but in science in general, there's been such a history of experimentation on bunnies and it's really, really unfortunate. I think it's great that they've highlighted Ralph as a white rabbit. The white New Zealands are the ones that tend to be tested on. I don't know why, I think it has to do with their size, their plumpness, something of that nature. Ralph is discussing, you know, how he's part of the sacrifice. Point is, I'm not a space bunny. I'm a tester. My daddy was a tester, my mum, my brothers, my sisters, my kids, all testers. And they all died doing their job. Just like I will. It's okay. Testing is what we were born to do. It makes us rabbits happy. Yeah. So we get to work. So this is sad. This is very, very sad. Ralph is obviously talking about how it's there's a generational trauma, right? Like his parents were testers, his siblings, cousins, and it's just passed on to him. It's it's not anything he has any control over. And um, I think that is that's a very real way to look at this situation. Now I know it looks bad. But the way I see it, I'm doing my job. If just one human can have the illusion of a safer lipstick or deodorant or... Uh... Hey, Ralphie! Psst. Ralphie! What's with the camera crew, bro? Ah, oh, um, they're just following me around, making a documentary or something. <gasps> can you ask them to get us out of here? Yeah, yeah, what, what, what will we see? Come on, Ralphie, just I'm ask really him to get out of here. I don't want to die, man! Help! Okay, Ralphie! Oh, okay, I hear you. You, got, uh, you can... Yeah. This is obviously fictional, but I don't think it's dramatized. What animal wouldn't be scared, you know? Um, and bunnies communicate with each other. We may not be able to understand them, right? Their language is humans fully, but the bunnies understand each other and I wouldn't put it past them if they were actually communicating in this way. 
get a dead out, bro. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch uh, him! Uh, Stop! Uh, uh, oh, shit! So, uh, so in closing, I'd um, just like to say that... Uh, sorry, Ralph. Uh, We're over here. Can you, can you turn around? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, is this better? Yeah. Yeah. Carry on, mate. Okay, so, yeah. I'd just like to say to everyone out there still buying animal-tested cosmetics like eyeliner, shampoo, sunscreen, pretty much everything in your bathroom... Well, without you and countries that allow animal testing, I'd be out of a job. I'd be on the streets. Well, not the streets, more like a field, I guess. You know, like a normal rabbit. I just can't imagine, like, putting Lennon through something like that. This is, this is very, very disturbing, and, like, I know it's a cartoon or stop motion, right? I think it's stop motion. Let me look that up. So it's, yeah, it's stop motion. It's very realistic. I mean, this is, this is hard to watch, you know? This is literally what occurs. And, and they've done a great job at illustrating this. This, you know, the red eyes, the burns, the back aches, the pain that these bunnies go through, just so that we as humans can have our shampoos and our makeup and our, you know, whatever it is. So it's not just strictly makeup, a lot of people there's this misconception that it's just makeup, makeup industry, but it's it's a lot of stuff. It's deodorants, it's lotions. So, you know, men and women contribute to this, not just women. One thing I will say, Ralph talks about how if, if, if he weren't doing this, he'd be out in a field somewhere. So that to me, I mean, I do find that sentence problematic because obviously this is a domesticated bunny. It's not really supposed to be living on a field. Um, wild rabbits aren't the ones being tested on, so I think that there's clearly a mix-up there. I, I understand the intention. I'm not totally mad at it because I, I think there's just still a little lack of education there. Um, what they should have said is, instead of being in this laboratory, I could be in a warm home with a family. That would have been a better way to put it, in my opinion. But hey... <sighs> So good. This was very, very touching. I, you know, the first time I watched this, I teared up a little bit. This is the second time I've seen it. So obviously I'm not as emotional, but it's still very, very hard to watch. It's disturbing and I think it's a really great recreation of what probably actually occurs. So, you know, I just personally could not imagine ever putting Lennon in that situation. I know a lot of brands are now shifting to cruelty-free and I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna link down below where you can get cruelty-free products from now on. And I, you know, admittedly haven't been perfect in that arena and I'm embarrassed by that, but I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. You know, I make mistakes and I've definitely bought things that I'm not proud of in the past. And I'm trying now that I, that I have this newfound consciousness trying to shift and change. I think that's the best thing that we can do as humans. I'm slowly phasing out things that aren't cruelty free and I'm trying to buy things that are cruelty free. And I think that that is the most that we can do as a society is collectively start saying no to this industry, start saying no to brands that are not cruelty free because the only way for them to change is if people start boycotting, right? And I'm not gonna name any specific brands, but it's so easy to just take your dollars elsewhere. And when people start seeing those dollars shift to other brands that are cruelty free, I think that propels a change. That's the only way to do it. Take your wallets elsewhere. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope it um, inspired you in some way to make a change. And I know for me, this video is been very impactful and I'm, I'm so glad that it was made. Please subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz and we'll see you all soon. Bye.